Okay, so typically when we receive survey data from a surveyor, we receive it in the form of a point file. This could be an ASCII file, a text file, a CSV file, whatever it may be, but it contains all the point geometry within that. And to get that into Civil 3D, we need to import it, then we need to con uh, convert it to a point group, and then we need to build a surface from that point group. So it, there's a three-step process right there that we're going to consolidate using Dynamo into one clean routine. And if I open this file up, it's called survey points. You can see we've got all the point geometry, as I mentioned. We've got the point number, the northing, easting, elevation, and description columns already created and established. So if I close this out, I'm going to switch over to Dynamo. And I'm going to show you a brief overview of how I've set this routine up. So here it's going to be calling up that file. It's that CSV file. And then I'm going to extract the data from there by using this data import Excel. And as you can see, the surveyed points is the actual tab that we're going to be reading. So we need to make sure we identify that in the string in the sheet name there. Then we're going to extract that. We're going to separate it by lists. We're going to create a list for each column and assign one of those to the X, the Y, the Z, and the descriptions. And then we're going to push those points to a point group. And then we're going to create a surface from those points. So that's three steps that we're consolidating into one using Dynamo. As you can see within the point groups, there, all we have are the all points. There's no surfaces. We click Run. Going to make sure we check that box and hit OK. And as you can see on the bottom, you can see the progress starting. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Now we've got all the point geometry, we've got surfaces, we've got point groups, we've got all this stuff. So now what we can do real quick just to show you, if we select that surface, go to Object Viewer, we could see that it's a complete surface model now. So that's just one quick example of how we can leverage Dynamo using Civil 3D to automate a lot of our tasks.